An exclusive Five on Your Side investigation into possible radiation poisoning is getting huge results tonight. It was called Operation Deep Freeze, and it involved up to 15,000 Navy personnel. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now with the news that his investigation is headed to top Obama administration cabinet officials. Well, that's right, Leon. Our report revealed a nuclear plant plagued by malfunctions and cancer deaths now being reported. Tonight, Senator Sherrod Brown is asking two top cabinet members, the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of Veteran Affairs, to investigate. I think when, you're, uh, when your station is, is, is exposing these things, when veterans were put in a position they shouldn't have been put in, and uh, you know, maybe and, and end up developing diseases, cancers or something else because of it, uh, your, your expose and our efforts need to get to the bottom of it and, and see exactly what happened and take action accordingly. An estimated 15,000 Navy personnel served here at McMurdo Station in Antarctica in the 1960s and 70s. It was powered by this portable nuclear plant. But our investigation found 438 malfunctions from 1964 through 1972. The Navy's final operating report also found leaking water surrounding the reactor and hairline cracks in the reactor liner as early as 1964. Senator Brown serves on the Senate Committee for Veterans Affairs. That's why I'm talking to Secretary Gates. That's why I'll be talking to Secretary Shinseki, Gates of the Defense Department Shinseki at the Veterans Administration uh, to, to fix this every way we can. And the VA issued this statement saying it's committed to ensuring all those who may have been exposed at McMurdo Station receive the maximum amount of care and benefits. Well, veterans who served there told us the VA had repeatedly denied their claims for service-related disabilities due to cancer. The Navy continues to insist radiation levels were not excessive. But in light of our report, the mystery at McMurdo will now finally be thoroughly investigated. We'll stay on the story. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.